What's up everybody? This is Adam with AEW Main Treasure Adventures. Today we are at McGunnacook Lake in Camden, Maine. More specifically at Barrett's Cove Public Beach. We are going to dive in and metal detect the swimming area to see what kind of treasures we can find. Just like always, we will clean out whatever doesn't belong, trash or treasure, it's all about making the swimming areas cleaner and better than before. Let's see what we can find. I was able to eyeball the first find, the hair tie. We got a band-aid. Ew, that's gross. Oh look, it's one of our fish friends. This guy was fascinated by my Garrett pinpointer. Hello. Here's another hair tie and a band-aid. Yuck. We found a bolt. Closest thing we found a treasure so far. Here's a piece of glass right on the surface. Anyone could have stepped on this. This was one of the coolest finds. It's an axe pin. It says M-W-A on the axe head. If you have any idea what that means, add a comment down below. We found two small metal beads. This was a cool find. It's a back of an earring right on the surface. It probably wasn't lost that long ago. This was also one of my favorite finds of the day, a pair of sunglasses. How cool, our fish friend is checking in on us again. He pretty much followed me the whole time. Another hair tie? The next target was a bolt. a nail. Here's some random metal. Back 
pound of screw, this is probably worth at least a thousand dollars. Water screws are pretty rare. This next find was a broken piece to a pendant. I believe it was a butterfly, at least at one time. found a grommet. Uh. And another grommet. This definitely could have hurt somebody. It's a safety pen. That's open. I eyeballed a plastic toy spraying top. Have you ever wondered why I have Walgreen medicine containers? floating in my floating sifter. I typically have two. I'll use one for small treasure like rings, earrings, coins, and the other one I use to put my car keys in a dry washcloth in case I have to clean my camera lens. Oh, would you just look at that? Just look at it. Meh, meh. Our fish friend is back. This fish was so chill around me, I could pet him. Here I did put my Garrett pinpointer up to him just to show you the size. He's about one and a half times larger than my pen. <laughs> Our next find was a nickel. Here's either a bracelet or a necklace. Our next find was a diamond earring. At this point, this is by far the coolest thing that I've found today.
have to double check it when I get home. Here's a lead fishing weight. Hey bros, what's going on? This is Cognata. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's take a closer look at everything that we pulled out of here today. Hello everyone, this is Adam. I just got out of the water over at McGunnacook. This is the spot that I've cleaned out probably the most out of all ponds, lakes, swimming areas. So here's all the sharp, nasty stuff. Tons of band-aids. Some toys, bits and pieces of goggles, odd and end stuff, a lot of hair ties, which I always find hair ties. And this is just stuff I can see. All right, and then we'll get to the good stuff. Oh yeah, there's some glass too. Uh, I only found one coin in the whole place, which I have cleaned this out pretty well as far as coins. So anything that's in there is pretty much new. We found a necklace. We found this cool, interesting MWA. I have no idea what that is. That's a pen. Uh, this was out right under the float, actually. I can't tell what it actually is. This is probably my favorite find. This and the sunglasses. There's not too often that I find sunglasses whole, so I was kind of impressed there. I don't believe this is a real diamond. That's a back of an earring. Little shotgun pellet. I only found one fishing weight, which I know before I found all kinds of fishing stuff in here. The water is super low. Normally, it is right where that line is. And now, so it's not even safe enough to jump off that float anymore. This is, this is what you do when the ponds and lakes start drying up. <laughs> you make art. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never say you... AEW out.